Yeah, man, so I start looking out the window. I see gun store, gun store, liquor store, gun store. Where the fuck are you taking me? Yeah, man, OG shit right here, man, yeah. We about to twist it up. We about to lift it up. We never giving up. How do you uh, talk with these young men? How do you approach them? Well, first of all, I ain't scared of them. <laughs> I mean, you know, I don't know what kind of man you can call yourself if you, uh, you know, I, I know some people, I see some people, they walk all out in the street so they can not walk through them. I walk through them and I talk to them. You know, I, I love them. They're my sons. They're my little brothers, you know. So, and when I talk to them, I'm telling you, I went throughout the whole city of Chicago and I told them straight up, looked them right in their face. And some of these guys had the guns on them and whatnot, right? And I told them straight up in their face, listen, I'm not telling you you can't have an enemy. This is America. Let's be real. Uh, th this is a violent country we live in, right? I'm not telling you that you can't have an enemy. But what I am telling you is to handle your beef like a man. Go to that person, handle it one on one. What I am telling you is that you cannot shoot our women and our children. That's a problem. I come to them in love more so than anything, and that will come from the heart to reach another heart, you know? And if you come to and, and listen, I'm not telling them no philosophy, I'm not telling them a school of thought, I'm telling them what's real, because they know. They got sense, they got good sense. They got sense enough to know that they should be shooting our women and our children, you know? So, that's how I come to them. I just come to them with the real. Okay, great. I, you know, I, I'll be on CT, I'll be all in the, uh, different communities just mm -hmm. as, as, such as yourself. And, you know, uh, it's, what I hear a lot now is about the drugs. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, the, the drugs is a problem. Mm -hmm. Is it just drugs? It's a lot, listen, it's so many layers to the issues in our communities. Now, now, if we want to talk about drugs, let's not talk about the crack or anything like that. Let's talk about the drugs that the government is giving them. When they, and these youngsters, a lot of them get railroaded and get cased up, go to the penitentiary. When they get ready to come out, they say, okay, listen, you got three years left. We're going to let you out on parole. But you got to take this medicine, mm -hmm. right? If you don't take this medicine, now they let them out. Of course you're going to take that deal, right? You want to yeah. be free. If they don't take that medicine, they end up uh, violating them, violating their parole, and lock them back up. So they force them to take this medicine now, because they've, you know, they've already uh, said, you know, labeled them as they got some type of depression or some type of mental I illness or issue Bipolar. or something like that. Yeah, something. They, you know, whenever they, whenever you go in there with them, and they gonna come out and diagnose you with something. So. A lot of these people are coming out in the, in the state is giving them a lot of these drugs and whatnot. And so they walk around, what we have in our communities, combine that with the, 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 the loud or all these other different exotic drugs they have nowadays. The we, have a lot of, we have a lot of zombies in our community. You, know, ever, you ever looked at the news or, or heard one of these stories? You say, man, what in the world? That's why it's a lot of these drugs. But now. I, I've never seen, maybe you have, I've never seen a, uh, a opiate field in Chicago. I've never seen a coca leaf field in Chicago. So uh, who bringing these drugs in? That's the bigger question, you know. But see, we don't, we don't want to deal with that, that aspect of it, you know, because it's more easy to shun our youth and speak ill of them instead of speaking truth to the power that's bringing the drugs in here.